It's been a while. Hey everyone, my name is Rahul, and today I'm going to be talking about what you should do if you don't have an internship for the summer. Now, this video is especially important, I think, right now, given the whole coronavirus outbreak that's been going on and how that's been affecting a lot of internships as well as companies and their ability to bring on summer interns, which is something a lot of these companies would probably plan to do, but they may not be able to do for various different reasons. So today, not only for the people that may not have been able to secure an internship for the summer, but also the people who may not be able to participate in the summer internship that they plan to, I want to provide a video on what you should do if you don't have an internship for this summer. This video is primarily going to be targeted at people going for software engineering or coding related jobs, but you may still find some applications even if you don't fall into any of these categories. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. The first thing that you want to do is to work on projects. The whole point of projects is to ensure that you show your passion for the field that you're trying to work in. And these give you an opportunity to learn various different things throughout the process. So the biggest thing that I request that everyone do is to have great experience working on projects on your own. You want to show that you're passionate about the field. You want to be able to learn things through the process of development. And remember, if you're going to have a job or an internship, you're probably going to be working on a project anyways. So while you may not be able to do it at the same scale or in the same way that you would at a company, you still have the opportunity to get in some great experience, get some work in, and be able to have something that you can show for at the end of the summer. The second thing you want to do is to learn a new skill. This could be a programming language, or it could be a technology that you're going to work with. It can be many things, but try something new and go and run with it. You can look at various tutorials online, or maybe even just try to jump straight into something and look at documentation. The key here is that you learn something new so that you keep building on your knowledge that you already have. The only way for you to grow in your career is for you to grow your own knowledge. And a great way to do that is to spend that time to learn a new technology. This can also be done in coordination with working on a side project. So maybe this is an opportunity to combine those two things and to work on something that's going to teach you something new as well as give you something to show at the end of the summer. The third thing you want to do is participate in coding related events. These could be hackathons or even coding competitions. There's many different opportunities out there for you. Many events can be held virtually and give you an opportunity to participate in something that's going to show again your passion, that you have an interest in the field, and that you can deliver something at the end of it in maybe a 24 hour format or in a coding competition to be able to tackle difficult problems in a short frame of time. These are really key because they again show passion, but they also give you an opportunity to brush up your skills, to develop something, or to solve difficult problems in a time-constrained environment. The fourth thing you wanna do is to brush up on those interview skills and clean up your resume. This is an opportunity for you to get some work in on preparing for the next season's interviews, whenever that's going to be for you, and really work hard towards preparing for that. On top of that, you can clean up your resume to ensure that you have the best opportunity going forward and include things that you've done over the summer on that resume. Things like those side projects, the hackathons that you've participated in, etc. These are opportunities for you to demonstrate your passion and that you took advantage of the fact that you had an open summer to be able to do something relating to the work that you wanted to do. If you're looking for resources on things you should prepare for for coding interviews, I've linked a playlist of my videos down below. I've made a lot of videos on how you should prepare for coding interviews, career fairs, and more, so you should go check those out. That's linked below in the description. But really, get those interview skills refined, fix up that resume, and get yourself ready for the next season. Because the sooner you get ready, the more aggressively you can go at that interviewing season and that application cycle. The fifth thing you want to do is to look into opportunities outside of the internship. These can be things like tutoring, which is something you can easily do virtually, as well as workshops for K-12 students. But even beyond that, we can even look at things outside of the coding and software engineering sphere. You could pick up a job that's completely unrelated to that just to build your skills up at a workplace to show for it when you go for the next application cycle. But additionally, you could also look for other volunteer opportunities. Try to get involved in something. Try to make an effective use of your summer. The whole point is that you want to be able to contribute to something and show that you have passion and show that you have job related skills that will help you secure that next job or internship. So it's important for you to go out and get these types of skills through various different means. Even if you can't get an internship, it's not the end of the world. 
At the end of the day, what's really important is that you work on building your general skills over the course of the summer, and these five different tips are really important ways for you to be able to do that. Well, those were the things that you could do over the summer if you don't have a coding internship. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing for more content just like this. And also consider sharing this video with someone who might be looking for what to do over the summer. Hopefully it helps them as well. Anyways, I hope everything is going well. Please make sure you stay safe at this time. Take care of yourself, take care of your health. And as always, see you.